Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Copy into one notepad and fix this. Okay, we will do like this. And now while this was running, there was also one suggestion that because PCRE was not installed, let's add this right, without PCRE. And also, yeah, okay. This should work then let's see unless we get some other error no user build nginx rtmp module hmm. Or I really do not want to debug all this. Okay, there seems to be no option to disable RTMP. Right here it says that you know Nginx RTMP module was not found. Now, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be built into this package, the the uh, Nginx package or somewhere external, but yeah, looks like it is not there. Okay, so the idea would be like this. Again, you do a dot slash configure, and then once it is successful, do a make and make install, right? And that would install your Nginx from source. Again, this has very limited advantages and the only advantage is you can go through the source code and ensure that you know no hanky panky stuff is happening, no unwanted connection to internet, nothing is being uploaded to somewhere unwanted, right? And also you can modify the behavior if you want to change the source code of Nginx to do something custom, you can do that as well. All right, so this is how you can install using source, okay? Done. I'm not going to use the CentOS machine anymore. Let's go back to Ubuntu. So this is where our Ubuntu was installed. Okay. All right. Now, these are the configurations, which is all fine. Right. These are some system default configurations. We are not going to take into that. We will see how do we set up our HTTP server. Right? You remember in Nginx, we set up virtual hosts. Each application is a virtual host. Similarly, in, uh, in Nginx, each port and application combination is a server. In, uh, in HTTP, it's called virtual host. In Nginx, they are called servers. So we have HTTP servers here. And in that, we can define where is our server running, what is the IP address, or what is the port on which our server is running, and what is the default directory for our server. All right. So you can see here, there is no server definition, actually, inside HTTP. And But still, we see something being displayed here right so where is this server defined 
well if we go to this http configuration at the end we have sites hyphen enabled now these this directory will have all the servers that you want to define you can define here okay so let's go to this directory let's go to sites enabled and if we see there is a full there's a file called default now it again is a sim link to sites enabled sites available directory so you can define your sites available here all the configurations but if you really want to implement that then you sim link to that similar to what we learned in http let's open default and this is the default site and you can see a server definition what does it say server listen on port 80 okay then if you want to enable ssl or uh, you know https we can say listen 443 then we also have to specify your certificates and all but for now we are not going to do that and then we have the root where is the server reading its data from so the root is war www html so your default index.html is here then what is the index file right which is the default index file that the server should look for right so index.html should be the default index then if it is not found fall back to index.htm then fall back to this you can add your own what is the name of the server you can specify that as well then what any customized data would it be uh, served should should you serve any customized data we'll talk about locations later and that's all yeah okay so let's create our own server so we will not work with the default server let's create our own server let's call this server as devops school right let's call it as devops school now do i need to give conf extension i don't know let's see uh sites enabled yeah any files are included we don't need to have it with dot conf extension right okay so devops school here we are going to specify a server now basically we just need one line to create a server or at least three lines but one directive so i say server right i want to create my server here and i can say listen on port 8080 for example and that's all this will start listening on port 8080 okay let's save it and we will say nginx hyphen s reload so nginx is going to reload our configuration press enter no errors very nice let's go to our ip address and say 8080 right and it picks up the default directory and starts showing the web server there now i don't want to show this right i want to show something else so then we can specify our root where our http or HTML files are stored. Okay, so let's go back to our server configuration here. Let's open DevOps School. And now we specify where our HTML files are stored. Now in HTTPD or Apache server, what was this directive called? Where we define where our HTML files are stored? Anybody remembers? I'll wait for 10 seconds. Okay, so it was called directory root, right? And here you specify 
where is your HTML files. But it's much simpler in Nginx, it's called root. And then I can say the root is var www and DevOps school. For example, here are my index.html files. Okay, so I'll copy this. Also, one thing to note is that after every configuration line, after every directive, you need to give a semicolon. In Apache 2, you did not need to, but here you need to. All right, now let's first make this directory for www DevOps school and let's create a index.html there. And I will say hello from DevOps school. Save it. So understand what I did? I now I have my server data here, my application data, uh, and I have the default index.html. And in the DevOps school configuration file, I have said that start listening on port 8080. And the document root is wall www DevOps school, and the HTML files will be listed from here. Okay, okay, time to test. Well, I still see the old document. Let me copy this and I still see the old document, and that's because I have not reloaded the configuration. I say nginx hyphen s reload and now hopefully it works and you see hello from DevOps school right so you can have a customized server now just with two lines I added this server in our um, in our nginx Right. This is how you can start working on your own servers and start setting up HTML static HTML content. OK. <clears throat> All right. So you guys want to do some hands on. Do you have lab machines and do you want to do hands on on Nginx? Because I have uh, taken out around 15 minutes for 15 to 20 minutes on hands-on. So would you guys like to do some hands-on? Would you guys like some time for that? Or share your screen and do with me. I can guide you. If anyone wants to do it, please let me know. And we can do it together. Am I audible? I'm not getting any responses. Guys, am I audible here? Okay. So I am audible. So would anyone like to do this hands-on here? Okay, after the class. Swadhin says after the class. I'm not sure about others, but okay. All right, no problem. So this is how you can set up your own server. Right now, what we can do is, right, we can actually get rid of this entire nginx.com file, right, and set up our own servers just like that. So let's do that as well. So I am going to rename this nginx.com as nginx.com underscore backup, right? And if I do this, then there is no default configuration and nginx will fail to load. nginx hyphen s reload, right? nginx will say that, okay, default configuration file is not found. Let's create this configuration file. I'll say nginx.com, let's create it. And here as well, I'll just give two directives server and the port and the document root now here i have to say http 
I'm setting up HTTP service and I'll say server, right? I'm defining an HTTP server here. And then here I can say, listen on port 80 semicolon and root is war www.devopsschool. As simple as that. Yep. So just the default configuration in nginx.conf and it will work for us. Okay, save and I'll say reload. Oh, there is no events. Yeah, so nginx also requires an events, although maybe empty, but an events section also has to be pre present here. I'll just have empty here. Reload and our application is reloaded. If I go to my application server and the default is hello from DevOps school. So I got rid of my entire nginx.conf and just have my application configuration there. Right? So this is how you can also set up a clean server without using the default configuration. All right. Okay, now let's do a little bit something else. Now let's do some location specific configurations. So what happens when your index.html is not found? You do not have index.html. Right? For example, if I go to www DevOps cool and your index.html is present, so that's why it is displayed. I rename it to index underscore backup. What happens now? Nothing. We do not have anything. Right? So can we? Display the directory structure here. Now in HTTPD, if the default index.html is not found, then the directory structure is displayed. That's the security concern. So in Nginx, it is disabled by default. It does not display the directory structure if it does not find the default index.html. But you can enable it. So let's do that. In nginx.conf, I can say uh, under this server configuration, auto index is set to on. Right, auto index is set to on. I need to actually save it and quit. And then let's reload it. And now, because auto index is set to on, now Nginx is going to display the index of a directory. It will show all the files here. Okay, so if your root file is not found, then it will show the directory. Right? You can also have one more configuration, right? For example, Let's go to nginx.conf and let's delete this auto index. And what we are going to do is we'll say for location, right, in our URL, if the location is root, that means whenever root is being accessed, that means the default IP address without any extra path is accessed. Then for the server root access, what, what you can do is you can specify that, yeah, you can say try files. So try files is going to try to display the, um, display something, right? Whenever somebody tries to access your application. By default, 
it will display the default URL content. So default index.html. If index.html is not found, then display URI slash. That means display the directory. If it is not also available, then display error 404. Right? So you try to find out what you have to display whenever someone uh, tries to browse your application. So if someone is tries, trying to browse their application and there is no extra path here at the end, that means it's the root of the application. Then if the location is root, then try to display the default index.html. If that is not available, try to display directory. If that is not applicable, then error 404, right? Single equal to error 404. Let's save it and then let's do a reload unknown that trip drive file okay it should be drive files all right let's see what happens f5 it says forbidden hmm? just one second let's here i'll say auto index on Yeah, because index is available, then it shows the index, right? Uh, now let's actually go to nginx.conf and say, don't display our directory. If default URL is not found, then display error 404. And now you see error 404 is displayed. So it does not even try to show the directories here, right? So needs to be understood. Default by default, it will try to show the default index file. If the index file is not found, then what we should do, you can define, for example, show the directory or do something else or display some other file, right? Or you can say display 404. Right? Maybe what else you can do is um, var www ah, devops school index dot backup. Right? Index dot backup is there. So in the index.conf, you can say either display the default index dot html or then display index dot backup. If default index.html is not found, then display index.backup. If this is also not found, then display error 404. Right? Let's do a reload. And now if you browse, you see it prints the hello from DevOps school, which is the content of the backup file. Right, default index.html is not found, so it redirects to our index.http or index.backup. Okay, so this is how you can uh, kind of implement a little bit of redirection. Right, anybody trying to access your root can be served something else. Okay. There's a question. Do you have to restart Nginx when you change configs? No, you have to reload. So the server needs not be restarted. You have to reload it. Just to read the configuration and reload. Yeah. You can also do Nginx hyphen T to validate your configurations to see you know if there is any errors in the configuration files like we did with http okay so this is how you can define some defaults all right now you can say that um now not everything needs to be in your default directory Right. For example, if I open the 
nginx.conf here and here is the location part here yeah? and i can say if the location now is slash um, images okay if somebody is browsing your ip address slash images if somebody does that then serve from some other directory right for example that means what does that mean that means do not use this root i'll say for slash images root is something else i'll say for www dot images for example right all my images are stored here so if somebody goes to my ip address the default root will be displayed here index.html will be displayed but if somebody goes to ip address slash images i will display from some other image some other location right so i'll save this and let's find an html file which can make sense for us right html file to display image just we'll see some example yeah i'll just see some add something like this in the html file so i'll say make dir war www images right and in this images folder or www images index.html for example i will say this is my code here i want to remove this alt text and i want to display some image right and that image let's pick up devops school image itself where are the images here okay this is the image url so let's use this i'm not sure if web p will be made displayed but yeah let's see that okay so here i say image url is this All right display this image so what i'm doing in the nginx.conf i said if somebody browses to my ip address slash images it should display the default index.html from war www images and not display anything from here okay all right reload and if i go to my application here default is again coming from here and if i say images www not found Okay, ah, no, not this. Why does that happen? Images. First of all, semicolon. I don't know why this was not complained about. Let's see if this makes a difference. Okay, not found. What could be the error? War log nginx error.log. It says war ww images slash images, node such directory. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So what we are going to do is war ww right and here we are not going to give the images directory hmm? it will be automatically appended here so i'll just say mv index dot image index dot html to dot No, hold on a sec. This this is not right. 
we do not need to do that. We are going to again modify the nginx nginx.conf and here I say root is var www. Okay, root is var www. Inside this directory, it will find directory slash images and display from there. Okay. Reload. And now, if I display my page, it automatically picks up the DevOps School logo here. Right? So you can specify based on different locations in your URL, you can specify where the content is published from. Right? And then you may want to restrict your users to access certain data. For example, no user should be able to access any JPG file. Okay, no users should be able to access any JPG file directly. So what you can say is nginx.conf and you can say if the user is trying to access the location and in the location you have jpg for example somewhere in the url you have jpg right if you have jpg then do something about it what we're going to do we'll say return 403 we don't want users to be accessing jpg files for example Right, so anywhere you see JPG in the in the URL, just return 403. Do not display anything. So it's kind of a security implementation. Now, if I say, okay, browse and say uh, image dot JPG, for example, I should see a forbidden, right? But if I say image.jpg.html, for example, still it will say forbidden because .jpg is in the middle of the of the location, right? So we should be more specific in our definition. We should say if the file name or location name ends with .jpg, only then display 403. So we can use now a regular expression here. So we can say file name which or this location which ends with dot jpg so this dollar sign at the end means end right so if the file location ends with jpg then display 403 right so this is not found this will be not found so 404 not found will come now because this is not found but if you access jpg here it will come as 403 because the location name ends with dot jpg <laughs> Okay, so you can ignore certain parts like this. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.